my team. I hope you're all well. Today I'm going to be doing a book haul for you. This is just books that I have either bought myself, I've been gifted by publishers or they have come in subscription boxes. This isn't a gifted book haul um, but I was gifted a lot of books in April so thank you so much to everybody that's ever gifted me something I really appreciate it you never ever have to give me something but thank you so much um you are all angels and I really appreciate it no end um I was gifted many in April for reasons completely unknown <laughs> but I really appreciate it but this is just uh my haul uh publishers and then also subscription boxes as well um so without further ado let's get into it so these are the books that I hauled myself in the month of April April and from this haul you will see that a couple of these have sprayed edges and they are Charmcaster and Soulbinder book three and four in the Spellslinger series and I literally hauled these on the basis that they have sprayed edges so it looks like I'm starting to collect this series with sprayed edges um which I'm really happy about so I wasn't bothered about it initially because I know it's virtually impossible to get Spellslinger with red sprayed edges but um, then I was sent Shadow Black, which had blue sprayed edges. And then when I bought Crown Breaker, which had black sprayed edges, I had like the three in between. So Charmcaster, Soulbinder, and also Queenslayer that I kind of wanted the sprayed edges for. Even if I can't get Spellslinger, at least I've got the rest. <laughs> so I spotted these in Waterstones and decided to pick them up. I thought I'd be daft not to, so I got myself these. Um, so yeah thanks to me for gifting me these the spell singer series is absolutely brilliant and i would recommend picking it up and if you are looking for the perfect opportunity to do so it is coming up in the month of june uh, for whatever a thon so your calling is here if you've been looking for a sign to pick the series up here it is. Um, whatever a thon is a readathon hosted by Maddie. I will leave a link to her channel down below so you can go and check it out for yourself. I'm not going to tell you everything about it, but essentially one of the prompts is to read a book that's been recommended by a host. So a host's favourite book. This series is one of Jade's favourite series of all time. So here is your sign to go and start reading this series. You will love it. I highly recommend it is a YA fantasy series and it's absolutely fantastic. So do go and pick it up if you get the chance to do so. Um, in the same day, I also picked up The Rig by Roger Levy and I this is really, really chunky. I've seen this about quite a bit. I can't remember where I originally saw this, but it was ages ago. And this has been sitting in my basket on Amazon with the... Um, price fluctuating up and down constantly on it so i just i decided to pick it up i saw it in waterstones and i was like you know what we're gonna get it so this is following two boys that meet uh, on a desert planet spark in a friendship that will change human society forever uh, on the windswept world of bleak a string of murders leads to a writer to leads a writer to a story with an un unbelievable ramifications one man survives the vicious attack, but he's left with a morbid fascination with death, the perfect candidate for the perilous job of working on a rig. Welcome to the system. Here, the concept of a god has been abandoned and a new faith pervades. Afterlife, a social media platform that allows subscribers a chance at resurrection based on the votes of other users. So many lives forever interlinked, interlinked and one structure at the center of it all, the rig. It sounds really, really good and I'm really interested in this one. So yeah, glad I got the chance to pick this one up. And then also in that same day haul I picked up The Grey Bastards by Jonathan French. Fairly certain it's Cody that I've gotten this recommendation from. Um, so I decided to pick this one up. This is following Jackal who's proud to be a grey bastard, member of a sworn brotherhood of half orcs, unloved and unwanted in civilised society. The bastards eke out a half-life in the desolate no man's land called the Lots protecting frail and noble human civilization from invading bands of vicious full-blooded orcs but on the heel of the ultimate betrayal jackal will start to question where his true loyalties lie it sounds really really interesting and i am living for this cover as well so cody if it was you that recommended this thank you if it wasn't my apologies and maybe you might like this one <laughs> i don't know um but yeah i'm looking forward to that one then I got myself Starfish by Akemi Dawn Bowman and I've heard incredible things about this one. I know that Chloe from Books with Chloe did like a challenge once where she 
um, did a, was it a random number generator or something? And essentially just picked a book at random and read it. And this was one of the books and it's become like one of her new favourite books of all time. So I've heard great things about this one and I'm really looking forward to picking this up at some point. I do have a video planned, hopefully with this in mind, which is why I decided to take the plunge and get it because these aren't cheap. They're not easy to get hold of in the UK anymore. So this is following Kiko and she has always had hard time saying exactly what she's thinking. With a mother who makes her feel unremarkable, and a half Japanese heritage she doesn't quite understand. Kiko prefers to keep her head down, certain that once she makes it into her dream art school, Prism, her real life will begin. But then Kiko doesn't get into Prism. At the same time, her abusive uncle moves back in with her family. So when she receives an invitation from a childhood friend to leave her small town and tour art schools on the West Coast, Kiko jumps at the opportunity in spite of the anxieties and fears that attempt to hold her back. And now that she's finally free to be her own person outside the constricting walls of her home life, Kiko learns life change life-changing truths about herself her past and how to be brave i'm really looking forward to this one it sounds so so good and i've heard nothing but good things about this one then i got myself sight witch by susan dennard which is book 3.5 2.5 in the witchlands series um which we're currently reading at the moment with uh buddy read with jade so i will leave a, leave a link to jade's channel down below if you want to know more about that we're reading the witchland series and in the month of may this is the book that we're reading actually with a live show at the beginning of june and it is a novella and i'm really loving this series so far it's really really good we're following two girls called safi and azult and basically they are different types of witches and they are on basically they're being chased by people and things kind of ensue it's very hard to explain what's going on because half the time i don't fucking know what's going on but it's really really good and i do highly recommend picking it up if you want to do so um so yeah i got myself this one i wasn't going to get a copy of this on the basis that this is very very different to what truth witch for example looks like so it's very annoying they haven't brought out a copy of this to match these so that's frustrating but either way i ended up getting a copy of it and i'm glad i did now because there's more mixed media in it um so there's like letters and drawings and stuff so yeah really glad that i ended up getting a copy of it in the end i could have just read it on my kindle but i didn't want to so i got a physical copy then I got The Crown of Gilded Bones by Jennifer L. Armentrout, which came just towards the end of April, actually. And I'm really glad I managed to get my hands on a copy of this one because this sold out well quick. Um, but yeah, really excited to continue on with this series. I have just reread from Blood and Ash and this and also Kingdom of Flesh and Fire are on my May TBR. So I'm really looking forward to continuing on with this series. This is a fantasy romance series following Poppy and also Hawk. And I really love this series. It's so friggin' good. So I'm excited to see where the rest of this goes and continue on with the series. And then the final book that I got for myself was Way of the Argosi by Sebastian de Castel. This is the start of a new series by Sebastian, but also set in the same world as the Spellslinger series. So this is uh, pre-Spellslinger, essentially. Uh, it's like a prequel series to the Spellslinger series, but I'm not going to pick this up until I finish that series, but I wanted to make sure I got a copy nonetheless. But how beautiful is this? It's so, so pretty, and I'm obsessed with it. So yeah, I am looking forward to... Uh, picking this one up and reading it eventually once I've finished the Spellslinger series. So then I was gifted a cute little haul from some publishers. So let's go through these. The first one is from Little Brown and this is The Fading of the Light by Charlotte Betts. I read the first in this series last year and actually really enjoyed it. Wasn't expecting to enjoy it as much as I did, but I really, really did. And this is historical fiction, essentially following a group of uh, people who are friends um they we, we follow them through their friendship through marriages through relationships through childbirth through um work through emotional trauma things like that there's just so many things going on and essentially we're just following them through life i don't usually like the slice of life type stories but i was just really interested by what was going on in this the backstabbing and just the bitchiness and stuff i just really enjoyed it it was quite good so i had a good time with this one and i'm excited to continue on with this 
the series. So thank you to Little Brown for sending me a copy of this one. I really appreciate it. Then I was sent a copy of Meet Cute Diary by Emery Lee and this was sent to me by Harper360. So thank you to them for sending me a copy of this one. This does come out in June, I think. I'll put the date here for when it comes out. Um, but I'm really looking forward to this one. This is a fresh own voices rom-com about transgender teens first real love it's a must read for fans of becky albertalli aiden thomas and christina forrest i haven't read from becky albertalli or christina forrest but i have read from aiden thomas and i'm really looking forward to this one um i think it's going to be really really good and it has got little bits of mixed media in here as well so um i am hyped it looks really cute and i can't wait to pick this one up then from faber and faber i was sent felix ever after by case and calendar i have read this one because I am on the Instagram tour for this one and I cannot wait to review it but how beautiful are these sprayed edges so thank you so much Faber and Faber for sending me this one I did give this one four stars in the end I really really enjoyed it it was so so good this is following Felix who's never been in love he's black queer and transgender and he's just trying to make his way through his life he's questioning college he's questioning you know what to do after he's finished school with college he's questioning love he's questioning relationships he's questioning things with his dad and all of these things are coming up and uh, basically we are just following him on this journey of trying to essentially find himself and also where he fits in with his life as well and what he wants to do with it going forward. Um, it was really, really good. I think it dealt with a lot of different things and a lot of different topics and I just really, really enjoyed this one. So I do highly recommend it. I gave it four out of five stars. And then finally I was sent In the Ravenous Dark by Hodder. So thank you to them for sending me a copy of this one. Again, I am on the tour for this one with Pride Book Tours, which is the same people that I did uh, Felix Ever After through. And so far I am partway through this. I am 189 pages in. And so far I am really, really enjoying this one. It's, it's following Roven who lives in a place called Thonopolis in which ma magic is very closely watched and it's very rare. So if you have magic, you tend to be assigned an undead spirit and you are watched with what you are doing, etc. The undead spirit can then control you body and mind. Uh, Roven's dad was killed when she was younger, protecting her secret that she had as magic and essentially she's gone on through life then for several years getting by and nobody's ever noticed however one day she makes a massive boo-boo and she ends up exposing herself she gets taken to the royal palace against her will and she is assigned an undead spirit who is Avrilos and she just doesn't think that she can trust him. She's not happy about the fact that she's constantly being watched now. But now she has two people that she's unsure she can trust but she's hoping that they will help her escape. She's got Lydia who is a princess and she's got Avrilos who is the undead spirit that's been assigned to her. Uh, however, together they uncover a secret that could essentially destroy both the living and undead worlds of Thanopolis and and she wants to try and bring an uprising and try and stop this whatever it is from happening or you know prevent whatever the secret is from happening so i'm really enjoying this so far it's really good really loving the characters in here the dynamics are really great and i'm really enjoying the writing style as well it is queer obviously because i am reading it for pride book tour but it's fantastic and i do highly recommend it so do check this one out and then finally we have some book box books so from tales by mail in april which is a bi-monthly book club a middle grade book club we got three books from them the first one was melt by l fountain and this is an urgent story of adventure and survival in a warming climate from the multi-award winning author of boy 84 and lost i haven't read anything by this author before but this sounds really really fascinating and i'm really looking forward to picking this one up it's not very long but it is a middle grade and i cannot wait to pick it up so i'm looking forward to that one then along the same lines we got hope jones saves the world by josh lacy and again this one is following global warming and stuff but in a different kind of light giving up plastic is really hard there's so much everywhere in the supermarket my classroom our bathroom and grown-ups don't seem to care luckily i have my friend harry to help me it just sounds really really cute and i hadn't realized there were illustrations in here as well so i'm looking forward to picking this one up at some point as well and then we also got The Weather Weaver by Tamsin Muir, which I've heard great things about, actually. Um, I'm really looking forward to picking this one up. I cannot wait to do so. What if you could befriend a cloud? What weather would you choose? What if the weather matched itself to your mood, whether you wanted it to or not? 
it sounds so good i'm here for this also this cover is just beautiful and so adorable so yeah i'm looking forward to picking this one up at some point as well cannot wait to do so and then from fairy loot in the march box we got bright and pale by jessica Rubinkowski, which is a polar fantasy i believe um i don't know a great deal about it 17 year old valeria i think that's how you pronounce the name is one of the only survivors of the freeze a dark magical hold not mountain unleashed on her village everyone including her family is trapped in an unbreakable sheet of ice ever since she became on the run from sa who is determined to imprison anyone who managed to escape valeria finds refuge with the thieves guild doing odd jobs with her best friend alec the only piece of home she has left that is until he's brutally murdered. A year later, she discovers Alec is alive and being held against his will. To buy his freedom, she must lead a group of cutthroats and thieves on a perilous expedition to the very mountain that claimed her family. Only something sinister slumbers in the heart of Knot, and it has waited for years for release. Inspired by Russian folklore, Jessica's epic fantasy debut is a thrilling page turner with romance, tragedy, magic and monsters that will stay with you till the very end. It sounds incredible, I'm so here for it, but also look at those sprayed edges. So yeah, a gorgeous book from Fairly. And then the final book on this list is also a fairy loot one and, and it is April's book and that is The Prison Healer. And this one sounds fantastic. Also, I am living for these sprayed edges. So beautiful. Here at Zalandov, the only person you can trust is yourself. 17-year-old Kiva is a survivor. For 10 years, she has worked as a healer in the notorious death prison. Zalandov, making herself indispensable. Kept afloat by messages of hope from her family. Kiva has got one goal and one goal only. Stay alive. Then one day, the infamous rebel queen arrives at the prison on death's door and Kiva receives a message, don't let her die, we are coming. The queen is sentenced to the trial by ordeal. A series of elemental challenges against the torments of air, fire, water and earth assigned to only the most dangerous of criminals. Aware the sickle queen has little chance of making it through the trials alive, Kiva volunteers to take her place. If she succeeds, both she and the queen will be granted their freedom. But no one has ever survived. And with an incurable plague sweeping Zalandoff, a mysterious new inmate fighting for Kiva's heart, and a prison rebellion brewing, Kiva can't escape the terrible feeling that her trials have only just begun. It sounds so good. I am here for it. Also, just wanted to mention, <laughs> how beautiful is this? <laughs> um, I did do an unboxing of this, so if you want to see a full unboxing and see my actual real-life reaction to opening this book i will link it here if you want to check that out but yeah i'm really looking forward to picking this one up i cannot wait so that is my haul from april um i hope you have enjoyed please let me know if you've read any of these and if you think i should prioritize any of these i'm really excited to read them all i'm so here for it and again thank you to anybody who's ever gifted me anything um ever but also through the month of april i really really appreciate it but uh yeah I hope you have enjoyed and I shall see you next time. Bye for now.